everybody, Bodder here, and today I'll bring you episode 10 of my uh, Wood Elves campaign. Uh, when we left off, we killed. Well, we killed the rebels and we killed off the Redhorn tribe. Um, you have orders? Indeed. Now I just have to figure out what we want to do. Let's see where we're against again. It's just been a week or so. Uh, Tilia. Astalia completely gone. I might move around here and take all these and take out Tilia. Uh, and then if that starts giving me enough money, um, I, I still I still want to send an expedition up and just fight off the scaling. But we'll see how, how it goes from there. Whether chivalrous or not. Um, Black Venom. Are they are. Oh, they're technically a horde at the moment. Oh, they're going to die off soon anyway, so I've got nothing to worry about with them. <clears throat> um, I uh, don't, not really that bothered about upgrading that at the moment. Uh, I will get. I'll think about that. I'm just thinking what um, what caster to get. Now we've got all of this, actually we'll get the last of Shifting Winds, then I'm not sure where I want to go with it. Um, I suppose since he can, I, I could go down this one to increase the melee damage of my units. Uh, say so 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, hmm, is there anything else I really want? See that could be good. I think I might like, I might go down this just because I'm like basically buffing the crap out of archers. So if I get some of these, get that to reduce enemies missile resistance. Go from there. Hmm. Get a few spells with her. I live to serve her. I go. Dodan. Watching. Stalking. Lord of the forest. Chaos, yeah. Um, let's move to the edge of that then, we should still get all these fully replenished in one turn. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> Lady of the so how much income are we getting from that? 600. I've definitely got the upgrade, haven't I, for the port, so yeah. Um, I'm hoping. Nice. Yeah, I'm definitely going down here. If I can recapture all this, it's three ports. That's a lot of income. That's not good. I just heard Orion say the forest calls, and usually if they have a voice line, something's happened to them. No, nothing did. I don't know why I said that then. Usually it's when like, an agent tries something on him. Um, armor leadership. That could be good. Passive. Smoke and mirrors. Um... If 
for now, I'll just go smoke and mirrors because 6% increase to speed will help like my ar archers when they're kiting and stuff. Yes. Income. Immune to attrition. I suppose that's the furthest I can get if we use the uh, wild roots. Just view it, so it's like... Uh, so I'm better around Estalia. So I wonder what's going to happen here, because I think this is Skaven Blight. So if the Skaven make it in, if they'll have a start in here, I assume they'd come in with the Lustria expansion, you know, the New World and all that. Which again, I still hope there's going to be um, <coughs> sea combat. Ready to serve. Mm. Just trying to think the last thing to get in here, really. Pose. I'll probably get one of these, I don't know. If I can try and um, confederate with them, that'll help a lot. I need to start upgrading the tree Welcome to do that. Welcome to the halls of Athelorin. What do you want? What? So it's got mental dirt to us. <clears throat> Only the Grail companions. I wonder if it's worth making them a vessel or not. I don't think it is, but. I wonder if they turn on you. Like, well, at least in, in when Bretonia come out on, like, Tuesday officially. I wonder if that'll change anything. If, like, say, if you were um, to vassalize them, because would it be against their code? Oh, bugger. Like, unchivalrous, really, to do that. I'm just trying to... Tempted to attack them first. I thirst for the hunt. Sabotage. This is my land. Because I don't want to take this, then they declare war on me, and then I'm my army's halved. I need, yeah. Enables the Joint Confederation Diplomacy Demand. Well, as soon as I do that, I think Beastmen are going to spawn, so I need to make sure I'm ready. So if I get these, I can actually probably afford a second army. Like a proper second army, not just a few um, spearmen as a garrison. I don't know why that shot up to like 200 for a second then. Must have been a bit of a bug. Do 
need to kill, take control of these waters. Okay. I put. The, I wonder if they'll put the border princes in later. I just. I don't know if you need to do much with them. Like maybe give them the ability to get mercen like the only one to get mercenaries. You know, like have their own regiment of renown sort of thing. You know, the dogs of war sort of. Because that's what they do, isn't it? The border princes and that higher mercenaries a lot more than anything. <clears throat> oh. Man. That is not... like That's just common. But that picture there is a, like an epic. It's not... It's not worth that. Oh. King in the woods. Crap. Orion. That's not good. You have orders? I might be able to beat them if they attack me, but I've got to wait a turn. To go this way, I'll, I'll follow them and uh, replenish. Spawn out of nowhere. I do like that, though. The fact that the um, you have the Savage Orcs and the Beastmen just pop up everywhere, because they're all over the, the, the map anyway, like the world and the lore. So they shouldn't technically be able to proper kill them off. For the king in the woods. Speak, and I shall consider your request. Bloody paragon. Yes. Reload time, missile damage, ammunition. Let's visit missile damage for now. Hmm. Actually, especially if I'm going to be grabbing towns, that could be good. Plus, to be aggressive a bit faster. There we go. <coughs> Right, that can allow me to get out this army a bit better. So let's see what we've got. So if we just get a few Glade Guard for now. Because I don't want this one to be man, like too expensive an army, because these are the ones that are going out, doing all the damage, and even they still only have like sort of low tierish stuff. <clears throat> oh crap! It's Morgar as well. Back to your empty halls, dwarf. Oh, must you? For the kind heart of the Lady Ariel. Yeah, I thought they'd do that. <sighs> I'd like them to get involved, but I'm afraid they'll break the alliances, and I don't can't really afford that now. So I'm gonna. Didn't do anything though. <clears throat> Back off, Paravon. This is not good. Has to be round round. Oh, wild rider units in here. I think. Spear of Kurnos. I need to try and get these done as well. It'll give me constant uh, amber. Uh, time arches ever onward. Winter grows ever closer. And with it, the time of Orion's return, the Oak of Ages, and to renewal. Uh, the wild riders are charged with the sacred task of seeking out a new host to meet with Ariel. If she finds their choice to be appropriate, she will for forge him into the new Orion, who will emerge from the Oak of Ages the following spring. For this, the most sacred of hunts, the Wild Riders, must be call called and readied. The hunter. 
two more turns. I'll be able to kill him. Hmm. Can I offer assistance? I am a lord of Britonia. Never. We might be able to reach him next turn, actually. That's a bit of a worry. And too large. Span these next time, but Let's get rid of that and get two of them. Let's do it How here. Can I assist you? you need me? Just so. Guardian. See if we can get him involved. I might be able to kill most of them with this army. It's the Minotaurs I'm worried about. If we can gun them down before they get close. We have time to reduce joining forest battle. Hmm. Just give me one more turn. So, Bretonia look like they're going to be interesting and hard, like almost awkward to play in a sense, because like, you can't, you lose chivalry in that if you try and set up ambushes or anything like that, that anything that could be perceived as dishonourable. So you can't you can't sack things, you can't raid, you can't set up ambushes. It's gonna be interesting. Bloody hell. I'll have a crack at it. So the fact that I think these all cause terror. I'm not sure about these. I think these cause fear. These don't. <clears throat> and the fact that they're all just yeomen. I might be able to break them. They'll just hug the trees as well. They're going to suffer. Fighting in the trees while I won't. <clears throat> Which trees do I want though? I suppose this tree line's a bit better. Get some volleys off because they can't charge me right here. Surmounted yeomen, archers that I'm going to struggle with. Ever ready. 140. So, range. 125, right, I can kite them a bit. 7, 4, 3. Bring these over here. I think as long as I fight in the tree line, I'll be all right. I'll put the bird right at the back here for the minute just to see what they do. So you do as much damage to these 
mattered yeoman is a can. Because if they can't if they can't pick at me with their arrows, I should be alright. Firewall. Yeah, firewall. Let's move it as long as it's pointing forward. Oh. them in. Hagger in there. Hopefully it can come back. Come on guys, you can hold this. The fact that they've got um, like a lot of physical resistance might work in my favour. These are all like breaking slightly so these are holding like legends. Come on. Right, switch, switch. Let's get him in the air. Bring him back onto the archers. Just need to take out these yeoman archers and I should be fine. Cycle charge. Get on. Bring them in here. They're going to break. Back at the eagle. <laughs> Hold. Yes. Put them up. One gets caught, the other one can still shoot. Can't hold. 
I don't know why they're so clumped here. They must be afraid to attack. Carn Eagle, come back. Deepwood Cavalry with haste at once. Come back, come back. That eagle's back. Ah, oh, no, you son of a Cavalry. bitch. Come on, Treeman, hold. They can beat them. It's just if they keep their morale, that's a thing. Come on. Oh, scouts. it unfortunately and get straight in with my other army I might be able to take them Ready for orders. oh over Deep word Deep word host. <sighs> retreating again Down. Oh no, that's it. As soon as the tree men are gone, I'm screwed. start re rebuilding it. Hmm. Was I think come? How can I assist you? Kindred to battle. For the Kadai. Got blowing wall. That they shouldn't have that. I don't know whether it's just because of the capital, but there's one turn and they've got um, them to protect them. To war! Destroy them! <sighs> They're probably gonna, I'm probably going to have to just leave this for now. I thirst for the hunt. Wait, I live to serve Ariel. I will make it so. Looting. Let's keep an eye on these. Two arms. Hmm. Is that one or one is it? Starlight's craftsman. I'm not sure what's going to happen here. I don't know whether the beastmen will attack Paravan as well. They probably won't. But if I had my way, the wild hunt would trample you into the earth. You want peace after just attacking one of my towns? <laughs> I think these will like me more if I deny it. I'm going to take that back, then they can have peace.
Well, you become a vassal or nothing. I go forth. I don't want more guy here, or I want him to go in and take it. I don't care if he like sacks it. If I had my way, the wild hunt. I'll have peace with them because they're just in a stupid place anyway. I'd rather not be having to fight them, fight them as well. If I can take all of Estalia. Beastmen just go to war with anything, but back up a little. A raid. The forest has spoken. Do you take me for Bloody hell! Fully replenished in two turns. They just gun in it for the, the, the Oak of Ages. I might have to just force march and catch them. Or if I can force march it to range and then attack with ease, I can take on this turn. Oh, slag off, Paravan. <sighs> See, I might be able to take that, but with the beastmen right next to me. opportunity to take these down but I'm gonna retreat just because oh crap this will be better actually for me a light forest all right I'll, I'll fight I'm good well there's no choice now I have to fight them <clears throat> I've got a more like, anti-cab on this one as well so while they're not gonna do as well as the dryads did under fire I've got more archers. Um, I've got my wild riders to chase down other cra cavalry as well. So <sighs> hopefully this is enough. I'm just worried about the beastmen, and I kind of needed these sort of fresh, so that if Orion can force march up behind them. Oh crap! I want this hill. Thinking, put three like that. And sort of, yes. Well, not you know, a U formation. Hold one back just in case. The glade guard up front. The forest wilders. Yes. Hold formation. Aye. Hold position. Armed and ready. Ready. Keep these back as well so they can choose a flank. Hopefully they're hidden between the hills. They have to come to me. One set of wild riders is hidden, but the other one isn't for reason. Fire. 
Oh, that tree absorbed all the shots. Are you kidding? They're going well wide. Wild riders, ever ready. Wild riders, ever ready for Apple Lawrence. Ready to ride. Ever ready. We are tireless at speed. Return us. They've got a pinched on the side. Look at that volley. Oh crap. Need them to reposition too close. down so they can get these firing in to them. Let's get me here. Screw it. Need to. Snipe him. Set up, set up. Set them up here. They're Lord fleeing, that should be enough. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. With him gone, they should shatter. You've got to have like, what is it, 2 HP? 44. Come on. Oh, get a decent shot off, will you? I can't chase him down. Yay! That was quite a fight, considering. So if I re uh, if I'm mispositioned my um, eternal guard at any point in that, I think I would have been screwed. It's quite a bit of money. Or at least the captain's all that dosh. 
I'm going to have to, at the end, when this turn finishes, I'll call it there. Just because we're out of time. I just want to check this really quickly. Right, we can fight them next turn if I force march him over, which I think I'm going to. We've got um, magic to assist us as well. But yeah, um, the next one hopefully we'll take back Carcassonne and take out the Beastmen. But yeah, thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next one. Laters!